from the hood, nigga, I will bag you. Yeah. Back three, back three, back four. Yes, man, it really is me. Me, so aka the instant burner man we're gonna be switching it up a little bit today man we're gonna be talking about the real nba instead of 2k man we're gonna be talking about the king himself man lebron james man there's been a lot of rumors a lot of rumors for nba players and and nba behind the scenes people man talking about lebron james going to los angeles whether it be the clippers or the lakers he says he likes it out there man he wouldn't mind playing for either one of those teams man but i'm gonna tell you today man why he will not be playing for these guys, man. I'm gonna tell you why he won't be playing for tomorrow to these guys, in my opinion. But before we get started, y'all already know, just like always, make sure to hit your boy with that like. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video. But we're gonna start off with the Lakers, man. All you Lakers fans, bro, you're gonna be waiting even longer, my nigga. You're gonna be waiting even longer for y'all to for y'all to be championship bound. Because let me put let me put it like this: when it comes to LeBron and the Lakers, if LeBron was to go to the Lakers, bro, he would pretty much be taking a step backwards. By that I mean it's it's nobody on that team. What LeBron said this year, bro, he said he needs more playmakers on his team. If he went to L.A., there's no playmakers out there. There's nobody on that team that can get you 20 a night, like a Kyrie Irving, you know what I'm saying, who's a proven scorer, who was in his prime, you know what I'm saying. He's established, you know what I'm saying. There's nobody on that Laker team. Even if you even if you bring Paul George somehow, if y'all don't know, he's a restricted free agent. If you don't know what a restricted free agent is, I'm talking about Paul George. This pretty much means, man, if, if a team offered Paul George $25 million a year, if a team offered him $25 million a year, the Pacers have they have the right to match that or give him more money. If they match or give him more money, he will still be a Pacer. So he's a restricted free agent. But let's say that he did go out to the Lakers too, man. They, they did some trades, boom, boom, boom. He, he out there with the Lakers too. Even if you add those two, bro, it's not enough, bro. It's not going to be enough, bro, to, to go against – to go against the Warriors, you know what I'm saying? Because LeBron James, he's at the back end of his career, man. 32, 33, back end of his career. He needs championship teams now. He doesn't have time to be developing all these Lakers cash, you know what I'm saying? Go through the growth. He doesn't have time for that, you know what I'm saying? His years are limited, and he's and he knows that. He's not trying to go to the Lakers, man, at all. The only reason he's saying that he, he might go play for an L.A. team is so he can put the pressure on Dan Gilbert. By that, I mean... The first time, they said the first time uh, LeBron James was in Cleveland, they was all like, Dan Gilbert was like, man, it's no way LeBron's going to leave gonna leave Cleveland. He loves the city too much. Then the next thing you know, he doesn't get LeBron any help all these years. The only help he got LeBron was an old-ass Shaq. You know what I'm saying? Then the next thing you know, boom. He says, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You don't get me any help. I'm going to Miami. So he goes to Miami. That's the real reason he went to Miami, bro. He was just sick and tired, bro. And you think it's a coincidence, coincidence that he goes back to Cleveland and he gets all the players that he wants. He did that for a reason, man. So he can, so he can pretty much be the GM as a player. You know what I'm saying? So Because he gets anybody that he wants now. You know what I'm saying? He pretty much has full control of that team because Dan Gibbert's going to give it to him because he doesn't want him to leave again. This is the same scenario, bro. It's just gonna. This scenario is just to put pressure on Dan Gibbert to get him who he wants again, man, and to put that and to put that fear into him to pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I don't see him going to the Clippers or LA, but he's definitely not going to LA, man. Even if you add Chris Paul to that team, add Chris Paul to the Lakers, add him to the Lakers, add Paul George, that's still not good enough. And that's still not as good as the team that he has in Cleveland. Even though the Cleveland, they they do have a few roster spots, and they're gonna have to they're gonna have to void. They're gonna have to get. Somebody for Richard Jefferson, you know he's gone. Darren Williams, he should be gone. So you're gonna need to get a, a backup point guard. Um, and probably Kyle Corbett. Kyle Corbett is probably gone too. You know what I'm saying? Even though I would probably keep Kyle Corbett, even though he is old, man. I'm a big, I'm a big Atlanta fan, bro. I'm a big, big Atlanta fan. And this is the hardest I've ever seen Kyle Corbett play on defense, man. He tried very, very hard. He wasn't hitting his shots, but he was still playing very hard on defense this year in the finals, man. There is somebody. I mean, he's getting paid what five five a year. If I can get, to, if I can bump that down to about two a year, you know what I'm saying? I, I would keep Kyle Corbett. You know what I'm saying? I would sign him back. But that team, that nucleus in, in Cleveland is better than is would still be better than that than that Lakers team. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much to go on. The Clippers, if you went to the Clippers, that that would be more of a fit. But it's just too much going on when it comes to the Clippers. Man, it's way too much going on. With that, I, with that, I mean, you got Blake Griffin. You got Blake Griffin, who's a free agent. You don't know if he's coming back. You don't know if he's coming back. If, if I'm signing with the Clippers, I need Blake Griffin. I need him. And, and another thing that you're going to need, bro, you don't, you don't know if, um, what's your shooter? Um, JJ Reddit. You don't know if JJ Reddit. 
he might not come back. He's a free agent. You don't know if he's coming back. So these are pieces that you need, man. You need J.J. Reddy. You're going to need Blake Griffin. If I'm LeBron and I'm, and I'm even thinking about signing. And you also, even if you even if you had those and you had Chris Paul, I'm still not trusting him, bro. You got to realize Blake Griffin gets hurt way too much. Gets hurt way too much. And you think about think about Chris Paul. Chris Paul or Kyrie Irving. Both of them are, both of them are good. Both of them are good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to hold you. But... Lately, Chris Paul's been getting hurt way too much, and he's at the back end of his career. He's at the back end of his career, and you already know Kyrie Irving is still in his prime. And another thing I don't see fitting when it comes to Chris Paul and LeBron James is they're both ball-dominant players, man. Even though LeBron James isn't the selfish type, he's still a ball-dominant player. And when it comes to Chris Paul, bro, to, for him to be effective on offense, he has to have the ball in his in his hand. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see it happening, bro. I mean, like I said with LeBron, he is unselfish, so he could, he could make it work. But I just don't see it, man. It's just too much that can go wrong, man. Too many injuries. It's way too scarce, man. And also, man, you will still need somebody else. Like I said, you will still need somebody else to that team, man. Even if you brought a Paul George in, I don't even see how you could get Paul George. When you got when you got to sign all these niggas, bro, I don't see it unless some niggas take some pay cuts. Everybody's going to have to take pay cuts, bro, like Miami, like LeBron did in Miami. Everybody's going to have to take bigger pay cuts than that. And, and you can get a Paul George and pay Paul George the max or something like that. Maybe, maybe that that maybe could work, but I still I still wouldn't trust it, bro. I still would not trust it. I would, if I was LeBron, I would stay in Cleveland and just and just punch the holes. You know what I'm saying? Try to do what I could do. Try to finesse the system because he's already finessed the system. Look how he got Kyle Culver. He got Kyle Culver for my for my Hawks for damn near nothing. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. But see if see if somehow you could go get a, a Paul George some way like that. I don't know how much money they have, but a Paul George. A Paul George to that Cleveland team, bro, with that nucleus, bro, that that would probably take them over the top. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna be a better three point three point team than the, than the um, the Warriors, but that would give that would that would give somebody habit when it came to Durant. You're not gonna stop the Durant, but that would slow him down a little bit, and that gives you another playmaker to that team. That would be the best scenario if, if I was LeBron. I mean, people say Melo. I don't know, man. I might I might keep. I would probably keep Kevin Love over Melo at this point. Some of y'all might think I'm crazy, bro. But I would probably keep Kevin Love, man, to stretch, to stretch that floor, stretch the floor, rebound. You know what I'm saying? He tries hard on defense. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know what you're gonna get out of out of, out of Melo, bro. You don't. You know what I'm saying? It's up in the air. You're taking a chance with Melo. You know, but. I mean, they could shake it up. And another thing that if what Cleveland has to do, if you're LeBron, another thing that you have to do, bro, you got to get rid of Tyron Lue. That nigga's gone. He has to go. He's not a good coach. Everybody in the finals seen it. Bro, let me tell you why he's not a good coach. If you have the same game plan in game one that you have in game five, same lineups, you're not switching it up, you're a bad coach, bro. You're getting blew out. You're getting blew out. Why do you have the same players playing? Why haven't you switched the lineups, tried different people with different players? You got to switch things up, bro. Another reason, man, I knew Tyron Lue was a bad coach, bro, and needed to be fired is because, bro, it would be times in the game where Golden State would go on runs, and he wouldn't call timeouts, bro. Like, if a team is going on a run, you have to call timeout, get a great inbounds play, score real quick, try to take the fans out of the game. You are not the 2000, 2001 Lakers. They are the only team that I've ever seen. That's and sometimes in some of the um, Spurs teams, those are the only teams I've seen, bro. That's able to, to fight through runs and not call timeouts. You know what I'm saying? But any other team, bro, you have to call that timeout, bro, and get a great inbounds play. And another reason I knew he was a bad coach, bro, they asked him in post game, bro, do you think that y'all should slow down the game? Tyron Lue said, no, I don't think we're going to slow down the game. We are a running team and we're going to run. No, nigga, you cannot run with the Golden State Warriors. Yes, yes, y'all do have LeBron James. And if, if LeBron James is on a fast break, he should run. You know what I'm saying? Because he can't be stopped. But anybody else, y'all should back it out, slow the game down. You should, bro, y'all should try to, your goal should be to try to, Keep the score to around 100 to 110 points every game. You can't score 130 points with the Golden State Warriors. You're going to lose. You have to slow the game down. That's how y'all beat the Golden State Warriors in 2016. Y'all slowed the game down to around 80-something to around 90-something points. If you go back and look at those games, you can't outscore them. You have to make it a half-court game. But he didn't get that, bro. This man got way too cocky, way too stubborn, and that's the reason he needs to be fired. But that's it, man. In the comments, man, I want y'all to let me know. Where do y'all think LeBron's going, man? What do y'all think is the best fit for LeBron, man? Let me know in the comments, man. Do you think he's staying? Do you think he's going to leave? Let me know, man. If you haven't hit that like, please hit that like, man. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. And y'all already know.
who this is. It is your boy, me, Soul.